Anyway, back to the Bible study. Believers who have died. Oh yeah, they were worried about believers who have died because they think, well, they're dead now. They can't see the glory of heaven. Even though there's stories in the Old Testament. Jesus rose people from the dead. Jesus himself raised from rose from the dead. Eh, and people have anxieties. We have anxieties that probably don't make sense in our times. I'll do. Until someone points it out, like, oh, wait. Anyway, chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. Yeah, that's putting it bluntly, but yeah. They don't have hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not persuade those who have fallen asleep. No, proceed. Those who have fallen asleep, for the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a loud command with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. <laughs> After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. <clears throat> Therefore, encourage one another with these words. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> 